Hi, this is Bruce, and this is going to be part two of our um, geolocation uh, segment or series. Um, in uh, part one, what we did was we created a, uh, a quick use. We used the HTML5 geolocation API to be able to get the uh, coordinates, the latitude and longitude or longitude coordinates of our location. So if I click on the uh, get location button, um, it's a little slow today, but you can see that I'm getting the uh, latitude and longitude of uh, my uh, position here in Montreal. So what, now what I want to do is on the second tab, I want to use that latitude and longitude to um, create a map and center it at my position um, and add a marker. Um, so I'm going to just go back here um, to my uh, to the multimedia homepage, and if I click on my, the geolocation app, example, you can see that there's a link to the um, Google Maps JavaScript API. And if we go into getting started, um, we can see that the first thing we need to do is to uh, get an API key and then link to the Google Maps um, API. And so I've already done that, and for students from Vanya, you're welcome to use my API. So let me just save that, and I'll upload it now that I'm here. Um, so also on the map page, and actually let's go back and we'll go to the next thing. Um, so then what, what I want to do is I want to create a map. Let's flip down here to code samples, and you can see it gives us some of the basics, and we'll start off with a simple map. So you can see here the, uh, the code sample, so I'm going to copy that and paste it into, onto my page, onto my uh, JavaScript. And then I'm going to change this from initialize to get map. And then I only want it to initialize, or I only want it to load when um, I load the map page. So let me just flip over and we'll do jQuery mobile page init. And there's the page in it, so we'll grab this little bit of code. And the page is map page. And then what we want to do on the map page is get map. Okay. Then you can see here um, there's a uh, what it, what will happen is it was it's going to create the map, um, putting it into an element with an ID of map canvas, and so if we go over here you can see I've created a div um, with an ID of map canvas, and so if I save these and upload them, I can't remember if I've uploaded this one, and go back to here. And it does not seem to be working. Um, but if if we look at the if we inspect the um, the page, we can in fact see that the map canvas is there. The problem is it has a height of zero. Um, so let's go and create a CSS page. And what I want to do is I want to set the HTML and the body 
to have a height of 100%. And actually, also that map canvas. And then I want to set the UI content to also have a height of 100% by just using inherit. And then finally, I want to set the map page to have a height of 100% by using, again, inherit. So I'll upload that. And we'll come back over here and I'll connect that. Save it. And there you go. So we've got a map page that's centered in Wollongong, or just outside of Sydney, um, in, uh, in Australia. So if we go back now, so, now, so the, the challenge, obviously, is instead of having it center at um, some hard-coded latitude and longitude, what we need to do is we need to um, uh, so get get our, our, our present position. Um, so I'm just going to copy this and I'll just change these so I don't have the I don't have a um, two functions with the same name um, and then you can see and so we want to get element by ID and it's map canvas so you can see here what we want to do is get current position. Um, if it gets the position, we're going to call the show position um, uh, function. Um, and if we get the show map position function, then I what we'll do is we'll create a couple of variables. One to be lat, the map latitude. And the other one... Actually, I'm going to take that outside of the function to do so that we don't have problems with scope. And this one will be map longitude equals position coordinates longitude. And then we'll create those variables as well. And then once we get this, then we'll call the get map function and here we will put the we'll substitute the variables of that we've created um, for map longitude and map there's map latitude and map longitude into there so now obviously on the page in it instead of calling the get map um, function directly we want to call the get map location that will call the show map position and then and then from there once we get the position coordinates it will call the um, get map function so get map location save all that and upload it and it's a it will be a minor miracle if this works and apparently not Let's go over and we'll add some console logs. So get map location. So console log get map location. And 
and we'll add another one here console show map position and then And then so this should give us an idea of where we're getting stuck. Let's refresh the page. So you can see we, the page init is working. We're, we're getting the uh, get map location. Oh, and you can see here, I forgot to update the um, which function we're going to be calling once we get the position. So let me go back and do that. And now we've got the map location. And there's our map, and you, as you can see, it's centered on our position. Um, but but and and this works well, but um, all, often when we uh, are centering on a uh, a map, we also add a um, a marker so that we can see um, exactly where the location is. So if we come on over here to markers, then you can see um, to add a marker. we can add this. So just in, in our get map function, we're going to add the marker. And then you can see here at the, the position in this case, what they're doing is they, they've combined the latitude and longitude into one um, variable. So we're going to do the same by copying this and creating that as well. Okay. And we'll just refresh that. And there you see, um, now it's, uh, it's gotten our location, created a map, centered the map on um, my location, and then if I hover over top of the marker, you can see the uh, title that we've uh, given that marker. Um, obviously, we could change that to you are here. And upload that, and then that should work. Hope this helps. Thank you very much.